In today's Blender tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step step how to make a building destruction effect in Blender. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna be providing this free asset here. I'll explain that in a minute. And the idea here is just to show you guys how to do this sort of building fracture destruction effect. This is not realistic for a lot of reasons. There'd be smaller particles. Um, the physics would be handled a little bit differently, but those are all separate elements, all part of the kind of like process. And this is more just about teaching you guys how to fracture a part of a building and do this sort of simulation. And the inspiration for this is one of my favorite Blender tutorials made by um, CG Geek from quite a few years ago now, about eight years. And I thought this is a really great tutorial. Definitely check it out. It's a little bit outdated, but the idea is really good. And um, he even uses like a effect or like, a, like something to interact with it, like a wrecking ball. But I'm gonna just be doing something a lot simpler today in a newer version of Blender. And the idea here is just to make this sort of thing that you see here. And once again, this is a free building that I quickly whacked together that I'm gonna be providing as well. So here you can kind of see it. So let's jump into the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. So first of all, if you wanna follow along with my asset, you can look in the description below and I made this one here. It's just a quick and dirty building just for testing, for demonstration purposes. And you can just go to the link, you can put in zero here and just download it for free. And once you have it um, and you open it up, this is what you're gonna have once you've extracted the blend file and opened it up. And we're gonna just do um, some basic destruction here. Once again, this is not meant to be like super high quality. This is more just teaching you guys the idea of how to use fracture to do this sort of thing. So let's select the actual building mesh you can see here. And we have one collection in this scene and this thing here is just called plane. Um, you can call it building or whatever if you want. And if you press Z and you go render, you can see it renders inside of cycles which is exactly um, what I wanted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually select a part of this building. And so let's tab into edit mode and we're gonna select a part that we want to destroy. Now you can see here, I've deliberately gone ahead and triangulated all of this. I just think it makes more interesting looking shards. If you don't like that, you can just press A to select everything, go Alt J and that'll get rid of it. But I prefer to have it like that. So um, what we're gonna do is in our front view, we're gonna go into wireframe. I'm gonna go to my face select option here. That's super important. And I'm gonna press C and with my selection tool, I'm just gonna select bits that I really want to destroy. So I'm gonna go over here, maybe a little bit over here. You know, completely up to you what you wanna do. Something like that, maybe down here. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into your right orthographic view and you're gonna go C again, and then middle mouse button, you're gonna deselect the bits that you don't want. So I'm gonna go something like that. So we only have this sort of part here selected. Make sure you don't have any free hanging parts that'll kind of break the realism. So make sure everything in here is nice and selected. Once again, with the exception of the bits here at the back. So there we have a nice selection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit P with all that selected, we're gonna go um, separate selection tab back out and now we have this thing here as a separate selection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press M, we're gonna go new collection and let's just call it shards and go okay. And for now, let's just hide our main collection up here just so we can work with this shards over here. So what we're gonna do to fracture this, we're gonna go to object and um, there are a few ways. You could actually use the self fracture thing. I've used to do that in the past, but it's easier just to go object and for now, let's just go over to quick effects and let's go quick explode. And now you can see it's automatically added in these modifiers for us. If you go Z and we go rendered, you can kind of, or Z wireframe, you can kind of see how it's fracturing things. And what you can do here is you go to your particles and uh, you can come here and change the number. I'm gonna go for 700. So we got some nice small pieces. And I'm gonna go to our modifier here and let's just come and apply the explode first and then the particles. So now if we tab into edit mode, we can press A to select everything. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press P and we're gonna go separate by loose parts. Tab back out. And now all of the origin points are still shared. So if you go F3 and you go over here, you can type in set space origin and go origin to geometry. And now all of the origin points are all in the middle. So let's now give this some rigid body. So we're gonna hold in shift and select any one of these as the main active element. And let's go over to our physics panel. Let's give this a rigid body. We're gonna leave it as active, but we're gonna go here to the shape and make it mesh. We're then gonna go F3, we're gonna go copy from, and then go copy from active. 
And now all of these other bits will have that same information as this first one we selected. If we now go to frame one and we hit the spacebar, we're gonna see it kind of all falls apart like that. So um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to frame one again. We're gonna bring back our main collection. Let's select our building here. Let's um, give that a rigid body and let's make that passive and let's make it mesh as well. So if we go to frame one, we're gonna quickly hit the space bar. And now you can see it's interacting with the building. It's pretty slow at this point. Um, what we might do to speed this up a little bit, I'm gonna just pause. Let's go back to frame one. Let's just hide our main collection here. And with the shards, let's just press A to select everything or just drag over them. Holding and shift select any single one of them. And then let's just go to the shape here. Let's just make it convex hole instead. This is gonna be a little bit less accurate, but it'll save us a lot of time. So we're just once again gonna go F3 and then type in copy from active. And now if we enable our main collection, we go to frame one and we hit the space bar. Um, this should be a lot faster. And indeed, um, I can see here it, it is a lot faster. Okay, so um, before we go any further, let's also just select our floor here. Let's give that a rigid body. Let's make it passive. And we'll leave that one as convex hull. And let's go into our camera view. Let's just go Z and let's go rendered. And here you can see this is kind of what it looks like. And if you wanted to, you can go over to your scene properties. You can go to the rigid body world. And you can mess around here with the speed. I might make it something like 0.7 instead, just to make it a bit slower. Um, but also we're gonna go to the cache here and we're gonna make it 150 for the end frame. And let's go to our end frame value here, make it 150 frames. You could go longer or shorter if you wanted to. And let's quickly save and let's go bake. And here we have it, it's now finished caching. And if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, you should be able to see it play a lot faster. Um, the only downside here is it's still not quite real time because of performance issues. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. If you go over to your object, your output properties, you go select your desktop or whatever output destination, go to the file format and make it FFmpeg and then under the encoding, make that an MP4. Then if you go over here to view, you can quickly go viewport render animation. And it's just gonna do a quick um, viewport render of where, wherever you're positioned in the viewport. And here you can see it's done rendering. So if we quickly go over to our desktop, in my case, it's the desktop. Here you can see a kind of like real time um, render of how this looks like. And that's a neat little trick to quickly get a preview. So what I'm gonna do is for now, I'm gonna leave it at that. We have this nice explosion. I'm gonna go into my camera view and I'm gonna get a shot here that I like. I'm gonna go to my render settings and if you go over down to motion blur and you enable that, then you can go render and render image. And here you can see this is kind of what we have. And um, you can now render this out as a sequence of, sequence of images or you can render it out directly as a MP4. But this is how you can make some quick and dirty um, building destruction in Blender. Now this is not realistic for a lot of reasons. Like some of these pieces here are paper thin. You can kind of see into where the bricks are. You kind of have to close some of these bits off. But that's all different extra steps that I might cover in a future tutorial. This is more just on showing you guys how to do the sort of building destruct, um, destruction effect in Blender. What I will be doing is uploading my original one to Patreon, exact same deal. Um, I just spent a little bit more time getting things where I wanted it to, but exact same thing. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.